Dear aspirants, good morning. To start with today's news, India-Canada relation. Uh, recently, Canada and India expelled their top diplomats because of their uh, uh, tussle war is happening between two prime ministers. There were three uh, possible the link of inter Indian intelligence says that killing of Canadian citizen in Canada. So this is a very important issue. So politically we have a strong diplomatic relation from 1947 onwards. Both nations uphold democratic values, human rights, rule, rule of law and pluralism. Both countries elaborate in international forums such as the Commonwealth, G20 and the UN. Total bilateral trade in goods between India and Canada was almost 9.36 billion. Also, there is a negotiations for comprehensive economic partnership agreement. So, and in education and space, there are special uh, agreement have been signed between these two countries. Like they both countries have initiated a joint research in healthcare and agricultural biotechnology and waste management. So education exchange is significant with the Indian students uh, comprising around 40 percentage of Canada's international student population. A nuclear cooperation agreement is also signed in 2010. Uh, strategic importance is collaboration on maritime safe security, counter-terrorism and maintaining regional stability in the Indo-Pacific region. Then importance of STEM education that is science, technology, engineering, mathematics. So recently STEM have taken an important account in the development of education. So students also shows majority graduating from higher education institution lack the basic skills which is required by the industry. STEM that is science, technology, engineering and mathematics. Education is a curriculum framework focused on fostering critical skills. The goal is to create a well-rounded approach that integrate these disciplines to solve real-world prob problems. Features of STEM is interdisciplinary approach like they can integrate all these four core components like science, technology, engineering and mathematics. And there is a hands-on learning STEM focus on practical hands-on experience where student apply theories to actual problems. And also they focus on real world, uh, world applications um, like uh, in critical thinking and also they can tackle issues like uh, climate change. Prepare student for the future workforce because future is basically the employment and labor industry is going to rule by AI. We all know robotics and data science. So in that way this will help us address gender and diversity gaps. Yeah. So STEM aims to promote inclusivity by encouraging underrepresented groups, particularly girls and minority students, and it supports national economic growth. International Energy Agency, this comes under GS3 environment. So the global market for clean energy technology is set to rise from 700 billion in 2023 to more than 2 dollar trillion by 2035. See, this is an uh, autonomous body, so and it is it comes under OECD framework, Organization for Economic Cooperation and Development, which is a group of collateral countries. The mission is to work with government and industry to shape a secure and sustainable energy future for all. It was created in response to the 1973 to 1974 oil crisis. It was founded in 1974 to ensure the security of oil supplies. The IAA has also focused on renewable energy and initiatives. Its membership is made up of 31 member countries. The candidate country to the IAA must be a member country of the OECD. So in addition to that, it also demonstrates other requirements like crude oil and demand restraint program to reduce national oil consumption by up to 10%. And legal legislation and organization is there to operate the SEM on a national basis. There are also measures or in a place to ensure the capability of contri contributing its share in of an IEA. India joined this organization as an associate member 
in 2017 itself so far india is not a full member so all you need to know for prelims is this is very important what are the reports published by iea anything associated with energy that comes under iea world energy world energy balance energy technology world energy statistics and net zero by 2050 try to answer this question which of the following is a not a criteria for iea membership cepa that is comprehensive economic partnership agreement aims to enhance which type of relations between india and canada try to answer this mains question discuss the current status of india canada relations and highlight the key areas of cooperation and challenges how can both countries work together to enhance bilateral ties while addressing recent diplomatic issues so we have introduced a current affairs batch that can uh, that consists of uh, very inclusive current affairs classes and um, uh, and uh, the test practices along with other programs thank you have a great day